like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Gotta get my cake up, a lot of shit be going down. Gotta keep my head up. Looking in the mirror, all I see is the king. Walking in this bitch like I got six brains. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification, gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to the notification gang and my guy Showtime SP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do me a favor. Don't be a stranger. Hit the notification bell. Stay in tune with the latest content. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get this thing started. So, URL Kings versus Queens goes down. Uh, seen all the battles. It is still available on Caffeine. It's one whole stream, though. You got to kind of like skip through different parts to see the battles that you want but there's a couple battles that i did want to see again because i wanted to make sure that i wasn't bugging about what i was bugging about um overall uh you know 25 dollars i did pay it i did see it you know what i'm saying i ain't go straight to reddit or no other place to get the bootleg i supported the battle rap culture so i feel like i can speak on how i feel about the event if it was cool you know what i'm saying like I only watched like two or three battles again, I'm going to be honest with you. No, two. I only watched two battles again. I'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, it's a lot of reaction, you know what I'm saying? A lot of reaction as far as the event goes. Um, it's to a point now where it's really, really, really too clicky. Like when you do Kings versus Queens, all these people hang out. They be at different events every other month. They hang out. They cool with each other. Now you find out half the car, twerk, crap, half the, the whole car, they sleeping with each other. How do you think you're going to get competitive battles? The battles are not competitive, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did see a post by Let's Talk Battle Rap where Charlie Clips is saying that, uh, you know, he looked at Kings versus Queens as a friendly event or whatever the case. A friendly event? Yeah, that's boy, cool. ain't no all, fucking way, boy. It was a friendly event. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And I, and, the, and I seen boy, ain't no way, boy. different people, you know, Geechee Gotti said he blames the bloggers and things like that. I've been on the same square since 2017, 18, when it came to Charlie Clips, his ups, his downs, whatever. It came. I made a blog, one of my first thousand view blogs, like six or seven years ago, was called, it's Charlie Clips Killing Battle Rap. And it was because I went to the battle and saw him versus Rum Nitty and seen him doing this freestyle, this this whole, he treated Jazz the Rapper like a wild and out freestyle. Get debatable to try to make it seem like he might, no, no, no. He fucking lost. It was horrible. Like the battle, he literally treated it like a wild and out freestyle. I don't think Charlie Clips has wrote in years. I don't really think he's interested in writing. And I said this before, like I told him in another blog. I don't think you could be easy to block captain. You ain't beating easy to block captain with the shit that you've been doing. And it's not just one battle. Like y'all been making it seem like it's an isolated incident. He been doing this for years. Years. What kind of shit is it? He was battling um, Gichi Gotti with the hmm, hmm. Battling you is a step up. He's good enough to freestyle against most people, but it takes away from the fact that he's not prepared in general. Like, Jazz the Rapper, not a good battle. Danny Myers, the whole third round is like freestyle. He's a rapper, some random shit. Calico's, not a good battle. Uh, Big K was decent, but like when you go back, like when you're going back through the battles, he's not performing at a high level. And he's still winning on the app. That's the crazy thing. All of these battles that people be feeling like he lost or he got smoked, he's not winning. He still has a large enough fan base that he's still winning these battles on the app. Which is the reason why he's continually getting booked, 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 booked. And as some others have said, uh, most notably Chris and Bias's blog, I did watch that yesterday. He's booked again. He will, you will see this nigga very soon. He's booked again. And... You know, when you <laughs> when you book him, you have to deal with the fact that there's a 75, 80% chance that he's going to be freestyling. You know what I'm saying? Like just 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 treating battle rap like wild and out. And I'm saying this because there's other people 
that should be getting some of these shots. There's other people who should be getting. I've been, I've been saying this forever. So it's starting to become a broken record. But I fuck with Charlie Clips. I rocks with him. But at the same time, he's up there. They gonna get it on camera. The hate don't look good. He's doing the same. Now he's joking with y'all because he's basically saying, I'm freestyling. I don't give a damn. And they gonna get it on camera. The hate don't look good. He's doing the same shit, bro. But Charlie Clips is such a likable figure, and so many people like him, that you're going to continue seeing him over and over and over again. But the Jazz battle where she didn't even have her greatest work. It was not Jazz the Rapper's greatest hour in them three rounds versus Charlie Clips, and he still fell flat. Didn't even try. It was like it was no effort. Like, it was just literally freestyle. Yo, 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 what you say? What you say? Huh? 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 And he just started freestyling. Oh, the crap. Bro, you are a crowd favorite. Like, I don't want to hear nothing about Charlie Clips in no crowd. He's a crowd favorite. Remember when he's freestyling against b Dot and told Shorty to take the mask off? Put my dick in there like he put the mask back up? Come on, son. Like, like, what are we doing here? And the problem is, you're now charging. Like, we're in the charging era. I don't think so many people would be super, super, super pressed if Charlie Clips was being seen for free on the caffeine stream. Nobody cared. We was watching them for free. I mean, people would still have to feel the way. When they dig it in their wallets and paying out of their wallets, that's a bigger issue. It's a bigger issue because y'all might not think $25 is a lot of money, but for somebody, it is a lot of money. And it's not even about $25. It's taking off. You know, you're off work. You got to listen to the whole event. Shit long as hell. The stream, six hours long. And by the time you get to a Charlie Clips battle, you're invested. If you got the kids, the kids is doing what they but you're invested in an event. And you see him just go up there and freestyle. There's MCs talking about, yo, to go up on a stage on a paid pay-per-view stream and just freestyle is wildly insane. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about get lost in your verse, so you just got freestyle a little bit till you get back. This nigga goes up there with no written material ever. I was talking to a battle rap, uh, to an MC one time, and I want to know if this is true, because Charlie Clips will probably watch this. Um, I heard the last battle that you wrote for <laughs> was Tay Rock the second time. I just want to know, can you confirm or deny that? You know what I'm saying? You got me on the grab, shoot me a message. I just want to know, is that the last time you wrote for a battle? You know what I'm saying? And y'all just, you making the gap wider and wider and wider between other leagues trying to catch y'all and other leagues trying to throw better events and shit like that. You closing the gap by doing this. I'm just saying, you are closing the gap when you are having performances like you just had. I don't mind losing battles. I don't mind, you know, 2-1 either way. I don't mind debatables, none of that. But I do mind spending money on some shit like what you just put up last night. Like, that ain't gonna work. Because now when they put you on the card again and give you a main event or some shit like that, people gonna be reluctant to cop. They will be reluctant to cop. I'm just saying. The URL just lost the brightest star that was coming up on the, on the, on the damn league. Let's just be honest. I'm gonna just uh, end there. Um, they lost the brightest star in the league for whatever reason. He's saying this YouTube drops, URL's got their line in the sand. But like I said, if it was me, I'd have gave that nigga a YouTube drop. 12 battles in a row. If I could keep him off of Chrome and keep him off to keep this situation not being what it is, I'd have gave it to him. I ain't gonna lie, because sometimes you gotta know when to hold and when to fold. I mean, all the other niggas, they would have just had to live. You you not 12 and 0, so you ain't getting it, you know what I'm saying? But to keep that motherfucker on the roster. And I, I mean, I just didn't curse because, you know, they used to censor shit, but they don't now. To keep that motherfucker on the roster, I done gave him what he wanted. That's just me, you know? Hey, like, cool, 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 cool. You want a YouTube drop? Pick one. Let's get it out. Get you back over here. Don't talk to me about this shit again for another six months. That would have been my stance. But Clips, man, I mean, you're way too legendary of a figure. And I know my personal opinion is not going to change the perspective. I'm not going to make you start writing and all of that. But you got other battles coming up. And if you just put that performance out, when those rollouts happen, when that promotion happens, guess what? Nobody's going to care or nobody's going to be too hyped to see you. I'm sorry. They're going to have to save the card with better or bigger or other names. But when you put you as a co-star, a co, you know, you got the big name, you got the next name, and your name is up there, that money looking funny in the light, bro. <laughs> and this is the, we done went back to pay-per-view. I ain't even tripping. But you know people gonna be calling for it. Smack, y'all gotta have to start making a call too, you know what I'm saying? Um, respect to URL and everything that they're putting together. I'm sure y'all trying to do big events. I know y'all trying to push this app, push this app. You trying to push the app with performances like this on damn near co-main events, it's like, come on, bro. Like, 
I bet you nobody gonna be begging for this one. He ain't gonna be begging for this shit to come out on YouTube. I guarantee you that. So, uh, it, it's been a while. He's been doing this shit for, for way too long. Uh, and the thing is, he's on a wild and out tour. So he's gonna go on tour, he's gonna make his money. He's got a huge following, you know what I'm saying? He's loved and supported and we all love and like what Charlie Clips can do at his highest level. But after a while, man, come on, this is bullshit. And I see the MCs talking about blame the blog. Don't blame the blog, because the blog has been saying it for years. We can't control nothing. We can't take nobody off cards. We can't not book someone. We can't make them not see someone. We've been saying this shit for years. I got blogs from six, seven years ago. Six, seven years ago, some of my first joints was talking about me seeing him and spending $100 to see him. So I don't want to hear it. But uh, it is what it is, man. It's highly disappointing. But y'all, and then another thing is y'all said he could stop Easy's run. Y'all said he can stop. Easy to block Kevin's run. And y'all meant it too. Y'all meant that. Did you just see this? Like, I don't, I ain't seen nothing in the last five performances where it would make me even think it would be remotely close if they was to battle. I said it before that he wouldn't beat him. But now I'll double down on that. No, he's not gonna beat him. There's some real serious shit would have to happen and he would really have to change who he is from top to bottom to even make it close. Like, even if he comes a thousand percent prepared, I don't have him beating him. And I don't have it being clear. If, it's, if I do have it clear, I have it clear being the other way around. I don't have it being clear for Clips. Because he doesn't care enough. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't care enough to put the work in necessary to still perform at a high level. And when you battling often, and you freestyle all the time, and you just be rapping about some random shit that got heavily. You on your Chicago Bull, I'll put 2-1 in your Pat Beverly, bro. We know this shit already. You don't have to tell us you freestyling, my nigga. We watch you for 10 years. You think we don't fucking know when you're not writing? Nigga, come the fuck on. We're not doing this today. Uh, this is Charlie Clips Killing Battle Rap Part 2, my nigga. You making this shit unentertaining. And you know I rock with you. Uh, but I, I gotta call it like I call it so I can't spoil it, you know what I'm saying? I got a subscriber base to, 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 to appease, you know what I'm saying? To talk to and to have believe with me and my partner Showtime SP say. But this, this ain't it, man. You gotta, you gotta get that shit up out of here. Put that shit in rice. That's where I came up from. Rice gang, put that shit in rice clips because I don't know what you got going on right now. I'm glad you're getting money, but uh, this ain't it. I'm gone. I'm stony, but I said it all. Clear like I said it all. For my soul, oh my God, I am hell. Every day I wake up, gotta get my cake up. A lot of shit be going down, gotta keep my head up. Looking in the mirror, all I see is the king. Walking in this bitch like I got six brains.